in Meghalaya as well, internet services and mobile services, SMS have been shut down. There is an indefinite curfew in parts of the state capital, there is Shillong as well. These videos that we are flashing on our screens right now is something that people have shot there on their mobile phones and it also showed at least two cars set on fire and a scramble of shutdown of town's main shopping street, the police bazaar as well. What do we know uh, from Meghale this morning? That's right, Sunil. In fact, the videos uh, that we are uh, playing uh, playing out are amateur videos shot by by standard and sent to us. Uh, in fact, uh, what we know for sure, uh, sure yesterday uh, uh, there was uh, a protest rally similar that to one that we are showing now. This is an evening rally. There was a uh, in the day there was a protest rally which entered in the busy police bazaar area and then they started ransacking shops. They had put a uh, vehicle on fire. They 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 beat up people. So uh, this uh, resulted into a total chaos in the state capital, Chilong. Uh, many see this as a spillover effect of the you know protest going on in Assam because although uh, under the uh, you know the citizenship amendment bill, uh, almost entire Meghalaya will be exempted because it's uh, it, it falls under the six scheduled areas of the tribal autonomous region. So uh, despite that, there is uh, strong sentiments against the bill, and there are uh, pressure groups, there are civil society groups as well as uh, you know tr uh, tribal political parties. Who are uh, dead opposed to the bill. So, uh, so that uh, you know that mood is there in uh, Meghalaya, and that's exactly why in parts of Shillong, to be very precise, areas under two major police stations, which means uh, almost half of the sh of Shillong is uh, under indefinite curfew. Uh, uh, these are the areas which also last year saw a lot of violence, a lot of violence, uh, violence before. So uh, these areas are prone to violence. Uh, also, the state government taking no chances of, uh, because uh, there are chances of rumor mongering and spillover of effects of the, these violence in, across uh, Meghalaya. So mobile internet data services have been banned in entire states. So this morning, just a moment before we went on air, I have got a confirmation now from the state government that mobile internet data services are banned in uh, entire state. Uh, and uh, parts of Shillong is under curfew. The chief minister himself uh, also faced uh, agitations yesterday in his home turf, Garo Hills, uh, when where he was there for a public program. And when he got down from his vehicle, uh, people shout, shouted, anti-citizenship bills uh, slogans because remember Conrad Sangma and his party NPP uh, had taken a stand against the citizenship amendment bill uh, at, uh, but just ahead of the voting in Lok Sabha they went soft and it's uh, on the bill and that's something which a lot of uh, tribal groups even in Meghalaya uh, didn't take uh, uh, well so they didn't, didn't, it didn't go well with a lot of tribal groups in Meghalaya in their home turf they have faced uh, protests so uh, a kind of a spillover effect of the of uh, the Guwahati uh, uh, agitation in Shillong, uh, which is just 100 kilometers away. So distance between Guwahati and Shillong right. is just 100 kilometers away. So and this has this is going to become a major problem because that would mean that the highway between Guwahati and Shillong will now also remain blocked.